the audio is not very good on this clip, so uh, I've made my own audio. Um, I'm sat in the van, so it's not ideal. It's a lesson on how to play Crown Green Bowls. Not a game that's familiar to a lot of people. Uh, I'm at Horsley Bowls Club near Belper in Derbyshire. And, uh, as you can see, I've got a set of bowls, a jack and a mat. Now, for those not familiar with it, you start with one foot on the mat. Uh, that's your starting point. Everybody has to do that. It just has to be your toe, any point of your foot touching the mat. Then you've got the jack. Now, the jack's chamfered, so it curves to one way or the other. You'll see a single dot on one side or sometimes a dimple and three or four dots on the other side or a, a rounded bit where it's not dimpled. Uh, the, the dimple side or the single spot is where the bias is. So uh, it'll make the jack turn towards the bias because of the chamfer of the, uh, of the jack. Again, if you go the opposite way, it'll turn the other way. In crown green bowls, we have the bias to it towards the thumb, and we'll call it thumb peg. Or if it's towards the finger, we'll say finger peg. As you can see, we're turning the jack there. In a minute, I'll show you the bowls, the actual bowls themselves. In crown green bowls, you have two. Um, I was just pointing out there that the greens aren't level, so there's little bits of edges on the greens and marks, and like a golf green not a straight put, it goes round so you have to sort of read the green now I'm showing you the bowls and the green um, again the bowls are biased with the dimple or the single spot and it will turn towards that, you'll see that in a minute on the video I'm going to show you now, I'm going to send the jack out which is the target, so everybody tries to get as near as they can to I'll then send one wood There, I've got thumb peg, so the bias was towards my thumb, plus the chamfer of the greens making it turn, as you can see. I then say my wood thumb peg and try and follow it. You can see it turning there. I'm just a, a yard or so through. So, uh, like any good sportsman, you try and take a yard out. Again, thumb peg with a second ball. You generally have two balls in crown green balls. And I've taken roughly a yard out. You then take the mat up to where the jack is, you throw it within one metre of the jack where it is, and you start again from over there. I'll come back down towards the camera in a minute. The jack has to go a minimum of 19 metres to set a mark. If it goes less than that, you have it back, and the opposition will send it. Now coming back this way, I'm going finger peg, so the, the bias is towards my finger, the chamfer of the green and the bias is making it turn as you can see, it doesn't turn a lot, depends on the mark. The bowl there, as you can see I've gone a bit narrow there and it's turning and turning. I'm trying to adjust with my second bowl, and that's better. Again I bring the mat up, throw it within one metre of the jack, and uh, if I had opposition, we'd start again from there. You can go anywhere on the green on crown green balls. And you can see the floodlights in the background, uh, so you can play at night if you want to. Well, if this gets one person playing crown green balls, then I've done something useful. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.